You know, it's interesting that when I was first broached about going to Korea, my initial uh, response was one of uh, genuine interest and enthusiasm, although leaving Emory was hard because we had done a lot of things and we were in the midst of a lot more. But this is the, as I often said to my friends, this is the only job I would have left Emory for. I had been approached by other universities to be president and I turned those down, but it, Korea was different. And I think I felt at first that I could work toward, <laughs> this was uh, the idealist in me, toward unification or toward reconciliation of the two Koreas. Because I felt Dean Rusk had originally made the, the drew the line of the 38th parallel when he was in the, in the plans division of the War Department in the end of World War One or uh, Two, and uh, I knew Dean Rusk, and I sort of felt like we had an obligation to try to put it back together. <laughs> but the fact was that as soon as I began getting my briefings and talking to people more deeply, like Sam Nunn and others, and as and other senators, as well as going or making my rounds, I realized that. <clears throat> The situation, particularly because of the nuclear, the impending nuclear uh, problem, was making it far more serious and and more intractable than I had realized. And I was prepared to to work for that. But then my feelings were, well, at least we can try to keep the uh, the show on the road and not let it run off into a ditch, which uh, it looked like it could so easily do. And so my feeling about the job became one, well, let's, let's see if we can't, if we can't reconcile the two careers, let's see if we can't at least keep them from killing each other.